The theory of motion smear, the law of the visual angle. A small object close to the eye can cast the same size retinal image as a large object seen from a much farther distance. The tip velocity of the blade will be the velocity of the retinal image of that blade. Halliade X turbines tip velocity is 200 miles per hour. The information that is actually transmitted from the eye to the brain will be expressed in degrees of visual angle per second or DVA per second. Degrees of visual angle are calculated as 57.3 times the height divided by the distance in which H is the object size, height, width, or area, D is the distance, and 57.3 is the conversion factor from radians to degrees. The advantage of measurements in degrees of visual angle for laboratory research is that the tip velocity of a rotor blade many meters in length, as seen from a distance of 10 to 20 meters, can be simulated in the laboratory with a much smaller blade located 0.5 to 0.6 meters from the eye and moving at a much higher RPM rate. An object of an unchanging size will cast a retinal image whose size is dependent on the distance. As the bird approaches the rotor blades, the size of the blade's retinal image increases just as photographic image increases in size as the camera approaches the subject. And on the right, you see the larger area, arrow at the top and the smaller arrow at the bottom related to the distance. As the bird approaches the rotor blades, its retinal velocity increases because the tip of the blade must cover a greater distance in the same time. This is related to the ph phenomenon of motion parallax, which we can observe by looking out the side window of a rapidly moving train or car. Objects close to the window race by with great speed and have a considerable motion smear. Distant objects move at a more leisurely pace and remain sharply in focus. An ideal visual deterrent for avian turbine collisions is one that continues to provide high visibility as the bird gets closer to the whirling blades. However, the physiology of the retina will not permit such a situation. Beyond a certain point, the velocity of the retinal image of the blades sweeping across the retina will overwhelm the retina's ability to keep up and indeed prevent it from passing it on to the brain to comprehend it. The initial effect will be a smearing or blurring of the image of the blades. They may finally appear transparent and look like a safe place to fly with deadly consequences for the bird.